it's important to to say that we are talking about a slowdown um, in sales growth. So at this point, we're not necessarily talking about EV sales declining. But because for much of the the world, we're, we're still in a very early stage, then it has been, I think, disappointing in terms of the adoption that people were and companies were expecting. So we're forecasting EV sales growth of 20% this year, which, you know, for, for the, the regular autos market would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. But when you put this into the context of a very nascent EV market and the fact that there was growth of 60% two years ago for global EV sales, uh, some individual markets having more than 100% growth, then suddenly we can see that there has been a real slowdown um, over this year. And as you said, there are some regional differences. So if you were to look at China, for example, world's biggest EV market, in this case, you'd almost expect to see some diminishing returns um, because of the size of the market, the fact that it's been so far ahead of other regions. And that's why we've seen the government bringing in more incentives this year to try and kickstart sales growth again. So they're, they're trying to encourage scrapping older vehicles, for example, in, in exchange for EVs. Um, in Europe, we, we've we struggled more with costs, so the high prices of EVs, the high cost of borrowing when we've been through a very high interest rate um, period. Um, and that's been similar for North America as well, high costs that have deterred consumers and also um, – quite low charging infrastructure in, com in comparison with the, the size of the autos market. So slightly different um, factors in, in different regions. And then some global factors as well, such as the supply chain disruptions that we saw, which limited inventories um, and some rising costs and some shipping bottlenecks. So it there have been many co a mm. combination of many factors. How is the slowdown in the EV sales being translated into investments into the EV supply chain? And maybe if you can break down for us these numbers in terms of investment value and in terms of the number of projects as well that we've seen in the last few quarters or the first half of this year. We are certainly seeing the slowdown playing out in investment as well. Um, we regularly monitor investment into the manufacturing side of the industry um, by region and on a quarterly basis. So we're able to make comparisons. And what we've seen in the first half of 2024 is that globally we've seen the number of projects related to EVs and the EV supply chain falling from over 140 to just over 100. And the value in particular has fallen from over 130 billion globally in the first half of 2023 to just around 50 billion in mm. the first half of this year. Um, and also in some cases, projects that had already started, um, you know, work had already started on them. They're either being suspended or canceled altogether. So we've seen that in Western Europe and in North America.